Hello, welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how computers add numbers together using half adders and full adders. Okay, but before we start on computers and binary, let's have a quick look at how we do it as human beings. So normally we uh, we add using deanery, which is decimal. So for instance, here if we do two plus two, it equals four. Uh, and the reason is is that the maximum number we can have in any one column in a decimal number is 9. Uh, they go from 0 to 9 and after that we start to carry over. So 2 plus 2 is okay because 2 add 2 to 2 just makes 4 which is perfectly fine. Um, but sometimes when we get additions so where we start adding bigger numbers together uh, we get a carry over. So 6 plus 8 um, you can't fit 14 in one column because the highest digit is a 9. So what we do is we put the 4 in the first column and then we carry over the 1 onto the next column. So in uh, in decimal here, in deanery, you can see here 6 and 8. Uh, the sum is 4, which is the right-hand side 1. And then we carry over a 1 over to the next column. Good. That's pretty standard, so that's okay. Um, and in binary, well, yeah, we pretty much do the same thing, really. Uh, but in binary, the maximum number we can have is uh, the maximum digit we can have is one. We don't go all the way up to nine; we just go to one. And if it gets higher than a one, then we have to start carrying it over to the next column. So the same idea works. If you get one plus zero in binary, then you just can have an output of one, a sum of one. Um, but again, just like the bigger numbers in decimal, if you have a one and a one, well, that's not going to fit all into one column. So what we do is we set the sum as 0 and we carry over a 1 over onto the next column. Uh, and if you look at a sort of a truth table of it all here, you can sort of look at it here. If, we, um, if number 1 here was 0 and number 2 was 0, then you're not going to get anything. The sum's going to be 0, the carry is going to be 0. Uh, if your number 1 is a 0 and your number 2 is a 1, well those two added together they're going to make a total of 1 uh, and nothing to carry. And same if you do it the other way around, if you have number 1, which is a 1, but number 2, which is a 0, again, same thing, sum 1, carry 0. And the only really difficult one here is if we have num both number 1 and number 2 um, that are on, well, what happens there is the sum is set to 0, but we carry over a 1 on to the next digit. So if you look at this sort of truth table here, you can spot a kind of pattern. Um, what we've got here is uh, if we want to put a 1 in the sum column, that only happens if either the number 2 or the number 1 have a 1 in them, but not both. So that's exclusive, either that one or that one. So we need to use an exclusive OR gate somewhere on that. Uh, and then if you look here at the carry, well, on the carry here, we only get a number 1. The only time that ever happens is when number 1 and number 2 uh, are both 1. So that needs to have some kind of AND gate there. So we've got this OR gate to sort out these ones here with the, those combos, and an AND gate there to sort out those combos. So how do we do that in a logic circuit? Well. It's really, really easy. You've got an exclusive OR gate here, and A and B, or number one and number two, if you want to call it, they feed into that one. And then the output of the exclusive OR gate gives you the sum. And then B here feeds in AND A into the AND gate. And those two there, the output of that feeds into the carry. So that's a really, really, uh, really, really simple logic gate there. And that is what's known as a half adder. And that is what we always use. We only use it on the right hand bit. And we'll look at why we do that in a bit. Uh, it become pretty obvious. So there you go. There's a half adder. So half adders are great if you're only adding uh, you know, two single digit numbers together. That's perfectly fine. Um, but when you start to do bigger numbers, well, things get mm, a little bit more complicated. So take, for instance, here this decimal number here, this deanery number, 999 plus 25. Well, that equals 1024. But 
how did we get there? Well, in uh, normal maths, what we do is we add the 9 and the 5, uh, which makes 14. So we can't keep the 14 there. So the 4 stays there. The 1 goes up to here. And it goes to the carry in on the next one. And then you add all three of these together, uh, which should make uh, 9. And 3 is 12. So again, the, uh, the 2 can stay there where it belongs. But the 1 carries over. And then it gets combined with these. Same thing again. 1 and 9, well, that makes 10. So the 0 stays in the sum. The 1 carries over onto the next column. And then finally, we got 1, 0, 0. Well, that's just going to equal a sum and a carry out there. Sum of 1, carry out of 0. And that's how we do it in decimal maths. And there you go. There's your answer, 1,024. So that's pretty, pretty standard, isn't it? There's nothing new I've probably taught you there. But the same kind of thing happens in binary, really. What we have here, for instance, if we got uh, 1011, which is 11, and 0011, which is 3, if you add those two together in deanery, they make 14. Uh, so let's see if that works. Let's have a go. So 1 and 1, as we looked at our half adder before, 1 and 1, well, that makes a 0 and carry the 1. But then here... Now what we've got is we've got one, two, three different digits here we've got to contend with. One, one, one. Well, that makes one, uh, sum of one and carry one. Because in binary, one, one is three. There we go. Pass that over. One and zero and zero. Well, that just makes one. And then there's nothing to carry over. So that just stays as it is. And there we go. One, 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 zero, which makes 14. There we go. Um, so if you look here at, uh, you can see the only difference really, the most important difference between uh, what we're going to look at a half adder that we've just used and what we need for this full adder that's going to cope with all the other bits, because the half adder can cope with this bit, the right hand bit of each one. But these three here, these need a bit more complicated logic because these ones here have all got a carry in or they might. So we need a some kind of logic circuit to cope with this carrying. So let's have a look at the truth table here for what we need, which is going to be the full adder logic. So it uh, when you first look at it, it looks a little bit a little bit complicated. But when you look at it for a little while, actually a few patterns emerge. So the simplest patterns are well, if they're all off, then you do nothing. You have no carry out and you know sum. There we go. So that's a really easy one to do. Uh, the, uh, also, the other way, if you look at the opposite, if all three of them are on, well, again, it's quite simple. If you all three of them are on, then you're going to turn both of these uh, carry out and the sum on. There we go. Um, and there's two more bits of patterns here. If you look, if any one of these three inputs are on, doesn't matter if it's this uh, this row here or this row here or this row here. If any one of the three, but only one, are on, then we put a one in the sum and a zero in the carryout. And the last one is if there are two, if any two of them are on, uh, whether it be the carry in or the input one, any two are on, then we turn um, the carry out on. And the sum is off, or 1 and 0, whatever you want to call it, true and false. There we go. So it's a nice little pattern there. All off, 1 on, 2 on, or all on. So we need a circuit that's going to cope with that. And that's quite simple, because here, that, uh, that one on, and that one on, and that one on, well, you're going to need an AND gate there. Um, and here, if there's only one on, um, then you have a sum there. So you can need some kind of exclusive or there, um, you know, a kind of a three input exclusive or. And then you're going to need a sim sim uh, sort of thing here for if two of them are on, but one of them is off. Again, you're going to need something to cope with that. So this is where we create the circuit for a full adder. And this is what it looks like. Uh, again, it's not terribly complex, actually. You've got three inputs. These are your, your two digits, 
whichever digits they are. Um, so that's for number one and that's number two. It doesn't matter which digit it is. It could be any of the digits as long as it's the same one. And then here, this is the carrying from the result of the previous digits addition. And then that's all it does. The sum goes to the output here and then the carry will go on to the next of the full adders. So there's a single full adder on its own. Um, but we don't use them on their own. What we do is we join them together in one magical, wonderful big circuit like this, where at this end, uh, which is the right hand side of your number, the first digit on the right hand side of each number, you feed the first digit on the right hand side here uh, into the half adder. You don't have a carry in because it's the first digit. The half adder does its job, just like we said before, and then it passes its result on to the next full adder. And this is the second digit, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Um, so you've got eight bits here, one, two, eight uh, uh, adders in total, uh, which means you can cope with two eight-bit numbers, which means that the largest number you can get as a result is 255. Anything larger than that, and you'll have another carry out here going into a ninth bit or something like that. We can't do it. This will only this will only cope with two numbers that totally add up to a maximum of 255. Okay, so that all looks very well and good. Um, but let's let's try that in practice, shall we? Let's have a quick look. So here we go. If we go to, I'll put a link to this um, uh, on the uh, on the YouTube video. But here is I've just done a four bit version here because the eight bit wouldn't probably wouldn't have fit too well on my screen. Um, but here you can see on the right hand side here if we just turn one of these on then the uh, the right hand bit comes on there if we turn them both on there you can see so that'll be one one that will output a zero in the sum and a one in the carry uh, which will then fire it over onto the next one you can see it happening there if we do another one there then again the same thing is going to happen uh, happen so it's going to fire it over onto here and the same thing here, you'll fire it over onto here and you can start to mess about clicking things. There you go. And you can see that actually here is you've got these two. Uh, that's These are all, uh, what was that one? That's, that's uh, one, two, and four, which makes seven. So there's seven. And the so number one is, sorry, number two here, because I'm just on the left for some reason, is seven. Number one at the moment is zero, 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 which is zero. So that will be seven when it's kind of just imitating it here. But if we add one digit to number one, it's going to turn it from number seven into number eight, which means it'll have to light this bulb on, which is because eight is one, zero, zero, zero. So we turn this on. There you go. So now we've added those two numbers together. Uh, the seven, which is the left hand side of each one of these here, and then the right hand side is one, and then it goes all the way up to eight. There you go. Uh, and if you want to add another two, that'll make ten. So that should just turn this one on. Hey, there you go. Add two, and it makes uh, ten. So let's have a look at a few examples of that. Here we go. There we go. So. This is the logic. I've just turned this the other way around. Um, you can see there, there's your half adder. It's a nice simplified version. And there's your full adder. And let's have a go here and let's show you some examples, some worked examples. So example one, let's say we've got three plus two equals five. So three is zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. And two is zero zero one zero 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 one zero, and then your output is zero one zero one, which is five zero one zero one. Notice here the right hand digit is at the top here on this half adder, and um, that's always on the right hand. And notice how uh, it looks a bit weird, but if you notice how each each number, uh, each digit that correspond to each other, so like the one and the zero, the one and the one, the zero and the zero and the zero and the zero, each of those exist in matching pairs. So this is there. These two right hand digits of both numbers get dealt with by the half adder. The second digit of both numbers 
well, they get put into the second full adder. The third digits, they get put into the third full adder here. And then the final digits down the bottom there get put into the bottom full adder there. So that's just, it looks a bit weird because you think you'd go another way around. You'd start to try and put your numbers elsewhere. But that's exactly how they work. They get input in pairs and they, each digit is dealt with as a pair because they're of, of the same magnitude. Um, you can't do you can't put them elsewhere because obviously that's a that's a one, but actually that's not a one. That's a that's a two, isn't it? And that's a four, and that's an eight, or it would be if it was a one. There we go. So there's one example, and the other example. Let's do a bigger number. So seven plus eight is fifteen. Uh, so seven, uh, sorry, eight plus seven is fifteen. Eight is one zero zero zero, which you've just put it in there. And 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1, which we put it in the bottom one. And the output of that is the largest number that you can store in 4-bit binary, which is 15. And there it is, 1, 1, 1, 1. And there we go. All four digits there uh, have been represented. Okie dokie. So that is how half adders and full adders work to add up numbers together. Uh, we'll, in a future video, we'll look at how computers um, they do subtraction and multiplication and division and all those things. Um, but that's enough for today. Uh, if you've got any questions, just pop a, a comment on the video. And if you did like the video, uh, then please like, uh, click like. And if you want to subscribe, then please do so. Okay, thank you very much.